So, uh, now we are going back to the Undead Parish. Taking that shortcut that we unlocked before, and I've... I've cut out a lot of the traversing between the last video, which was a boss fight, like, way far away from where I am right now, just because you don't need to see that. Hopefully you kind of know. You know your way around. You know your way you around enough that you can figure you it out. Um, but anyway, so we're going back into the Undead Parish. And... Uh, I like to kill these knights right here, just for a little bit of extra souls. Um, you can usually activate them one at a time instead of... I think I pissed off all three of them right here. But, I don't know. This, like, letting dudes hang out right there and assuming that they're not going to come chasing me and stab me in the back when I'm already in a tough fight, uh -huh. I don't like to leave that up to an assumption. Yeah. You know? I, I like to make sure that they're dead. And especially when you get 100 souls for each one that, they, that you kill of relatively easy enemies, it's, yeah, why not? Um, so, we're going up the gargoyle. Up the gargoyle? Up the bell tower this time. Um, and uh, we're going to be killing the gargoyle bosses and also uh, rescuing the gold knight, which is um, another NPC that um, you can kill and get some pretty badass items, or uh, you can let him kill... Um, that chick that I gave the the item to to get the Estus Flask plus one. The mute chick. The mute chick. And uh, she will... or And then, like, after he kills her, he disappears to some place later on in the game, and then you can kill him later on in the game and get even more badass stuff. So I'm still kind of deciding in my playthrough how I want to deal with all that. Yeah. But um, anyway, so there's, there's that one night on the stairs, and then there's this kind of tricky area... It's not too tough, as long as you have the patience and kind of like trap them in that door so you're not getting surrounded 360 degrees. Just like, you know. If all the germs get trapped in this door. <laughs> I'm invincible. <laughs> exactly. Um. Even the slightest breeze. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go rescue that gold knight in just a second. Uh, if you want to just go straight to the bell gargoyle. Uh, there's a ladder like right by where I am right now if you turn left, but definitely oh, there, there's also uh, some free humanity up here as well So I highly recommend taking this path um, So you got this one night to kill pretty easy I I don't know man like this game almost assumes that you're gonna go online and use guides for like to, to understand all the different things that are going on at the same time, mm -hmm. like humanity mm -hmm. and all that shit. Like, I, I don't... It, it doesn't explain it at all in-game. Unless, I don't know, maybe you could experiment with it enough to figure it out. But yeah. it's, it's like, it's hard enough as it is. It, it's, it's just <laughs> like, uh, they're, they're bastards. But no, that, that, that's actually really good for our site, though. That they're assuming that you're going to go online. Well, yeah. But anyway, so you go up here. Uh, you just open the door for him. What about like the messages? Do those help? Uh, the like most of the messages are gonna say there's a trap ahead or it's a trap, <laughs> and you know just really or like be wary of liar because that guy is going to kill your teammates later on or like you know the other NPCs later on. Uh huh. So you know they're right. Be wary of liar. But what is what the fuck does that mean? Maybe someone's lying to you. <laughs> You know, the, the, the messages don't have people's names on them, so maybe they're the liar, and they're warning you about themselves. I mean, it's... But, yeah, you, you can't have humanity explained to you through messages. John G. raped and murdered my wife. <laughs> exactly. Do not trust <laughs> Laszlo or whoever, you know? So, uh, next video is the gargoyle boss.